Actually, India is really vast, you know, we, we cannot be serving entire Indian cuisine. Like, as of now, our menu card is one of the biggest, I think, in Singapore. We have over 150 dishes in the menu card. My name is Karthi Kalagapan. I'm actually a computer engineer graduate from NTU. This is a family business. It started in 2009. Taste of India, the name came about is because um, that point in time, like 10 years back, um, there was only specialization mostly in northern cuisine and southern cuisine. There was not a, like a good mix of both dishes being served in any one place. So then we decided, you know, why not um, we, we combine both the cuisines together. We wanted to have a one particular place to serve all, all Indians because India is quite a vast country and there are multiple sections of Indians are there. So and we have some special dishes, like um, we have, um, for example, Malabar fish curry. So it's a Kerala kind of a fish curry, so which is not um, commonly sold uh, in Singapore. And um, chicken shahi kurma because uh, it's, it's, it's a cashew nut based sauce, you know, white sauce. People usually eat butter chicken only. People don't really try this in different varieties. It's a bit sweetish. It's similar to butter chicken, but the sauce is a bit different. These kind of dishes, even I myself never tried other restaurants in Singapore much. Maybe in India they would have tried, but not in Singapore. So these dishes are not so common in Singapore. Today we will be serving uh, Malabar fish curry, uh, chicken reshmi kebab and uh, chicken dum biryani. Chicken dum biryani is a popular one. The way we prepare is slightly different from what other restaurants do prepare because taste differs. And um, Malabar fish curry is something unique. Um, it's, a, it's a Kerala based fish curry. It's coconut based, you know, yellowish in colour. The texture is a bit different, it's a bit more thicker unlike the normal fish curry where you get elsewhere. It's one of the signature dish from the start itself from 2010 when we opened and people really like it. Another one like chicken reshmi kebab. Uh, chicken reshmi kebab is, uh, is a whitish color of chicken tikka. Chicken tikka is like a orangey color. This is a bit whitish in color because the sauces, you know, the marination is all done in a different way. And um, there's also the egg white, you know. They, they also do put our egg white on top, like a, a topping kind of a thing. So that gives a different texture to the chicken itself and you eat with it like egg white. Ingredients, we try to use the best ones because basically I told the chef, you know, like don't compromise on the cost or anything. You know, whatever you want to buy, you buy because the taste of the dish should be really good. So it's like I'm cooking for my family, you know, that's how I serve my guests. Um, from the start, we are actually one of the pioneer company in Singapore as a restaurant to advertise in Indian satellite television, you know. With the traditional marketing, we kind of established the brand and we got to know quite a number of uh, Singaporeans that what we serve and what, what are we specialized in and what are the services we have. I always believe uh, a picture says a thousand words. So more than whatever I can write, you know, what are the ingredients I've kept in this particular dish. When somebody sees a the picture, then only they know how it looks like. I've been on Grab for the last two years plus. So when Grab initiated, you know, came up with this uh, new uh, initiative called Grab Food Photo Bank, when I heard it, I thought it's really helpful because um, as I said, my menu, we have over 150 dishes and we couldn't shoot all the dishes and promote it. So we only did three, four photo shoots, which we have uh, 30 or 40 photos in our inventory as of now. So, and these photos are all the popular dishes. So not so popular dishes are not being captured anywhere yet. So we thought of joining with Grapple Photo Bank to promote these dishes, which is popular in India, and but not in Singapore. So Singaporeans might not know about this dish. Lately, we are getting a lot of orders. Actually, not not long before we did this great food photo bank. I think it's one or two months back. But we can see good response, you know, in, from this uh, short process itself. Yeah. Um, there's this saying in India called Atiti Devo Bhava, which is, means that like, guest is God. So uh, we treat every guest like, you know, they are the important people for us. And uh, from start, I always believe the quality of service and quality of food is equally important. You need to treat every guest as, you know, equal and, you know, you cannot be favoring some particular customer and stuff like that. Even now when I'm free, I'll, I'll serve the guest. So basically, I'll, I'll try to get feedback from them. After serving them, I'll just ask them you know, how, how do they taste the food like, whether what went wrong or, you know, if it doesn't suit their taste because everybody has a different taste buds, you know. Some people might feel a bit salty. Some people will say there's no salt. So, so different people uh, will say different feedback. So we need to take it constructively and see how we can improve. And uh, yeah, so that's how we have been doing so far. Yeah.